Biomass Continuous Carbonization Production Line. The Biomass Continuous Carbonization Production Line consists of three parts crushing, drying, and carbonization. First, the material enters the crusher through the conveyor. The crusher crushes the material into 5 to 10 mm particles through the rotating rotor. The crushed materials enters the buffer bin through the conveyor. The buffer bin can ensure uniform feeding to the dryer. The dryer consists of a hot air furnace, a rotary drum, and induced the draft fan, and a cyclone separator dust collector. After the material enters the dryer, the hot air drum continuously supplies heat to the rotary drum. The rotary furnace rotates slowly, and the material and hot air are fully in contact. The moisture in the material is taken out by the hot air, and the hot air containing water vapor is drawn out by the induced draft fan at the back and discharged through the cyclone dust collector, so as to achieve to fully dry the material. The dried material enters the screw conveyor, which sends the material into the continuous carbonization furnace. The continuous carbonization furnace heats the stainless steel furnace drum to 350 degrees Celsius through the liquefied gas burner at preheating period. This process usually takes about two hours. After reaching the temperature, the dried material is fed to dry distillation and pyrolysis process in an oxygen-free environment to fully carbonize the material to obtain relatively pure biochar. The carbonized material is cooled by the three-layer cooling equipment and sent out of the machine to obtain the finished biochar. The combustible gas generated during the pyrolysis of the biochar passes through the gravity dust collector and condenser, then enters the combustion chamber by the fan. When such a cycle is completed, the gas burner can be turned off, which can save external heating resources and reduce the cost of carbonization. In general, carbonization furnace only needs 40% of the total combustible gas, and the remaining extra 40% would be passed into the dryer to dry the material. According to the actual production inspection, when the feedstock moisture content is below 55%, heat balance can be achieved, and continuous production can be achieved with one-time ignition. No additional heat source is required in the process, which reduces the cost of carbonization to a minimum and fully guarantees the user's profit ratio.